We have Tyler coming up to give a talk right now from Electronic Gaming Federation. They are building a collegiate, yes, I said collegiate, eSports team uh, and actually platform uh, from inception to broadcast. So colleges will be able to have their pro sports teams uh, really show off their stuff and put their colleges on the map uh, in the area around the world. So I just want to introduce Tyler right now. Come on up. Give him a round of applause. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Clark. So before I start, I'd like to thank all of you. I have never come into a city and been so excited and so welcome at the same time. So all of you should be exceptionally proud of what you've done. And please, for me, everybody else that's presented tonight, and everyone to come after us, keep that up. Thank you. So let's get real. On average, colleges in the US graduate less than 60% of their students. Now there are a lot of things that contribute to this, but one of the biggest things that we found is a lack of student engagement. Now if you move that needle by a single percent, that means retaining more than $1.5 billion in tuition for colleges across the United States. Now we know how to move that needle, and it actually starts with video games. So this is an 80s ad for the original Nintendo, and it seems silly now, but it really illustrates my childhood. See, I learned to love games like The Legend of Zelda and Super Mario by watching my older brother and sister play. So when they finally passed the controller to me, I was already hooked. Now I've played hundreds of video games, and while I've loved some and hated others, what always stuck with me was the experience. And that experience is what led me to get involved in competitive gaming. By the age of 13, I was already a team captain, a team manager, and an event organizer working with communities all over the world. Now at the time, we had no idea what we were a part of, but as Clark has mentioned, it's becoming quite a big thing. So I'm happy to say that like me, video games have grown up. No longer is it the stereotype of some kid in his parents' basement, it's this. This is the 2013 League of Legends World Championship held in the Staples Center in Los Angeles. The professionals on that stage played in front of 10,000 screaming fans and more than 32 million viewers worldwide. And this isn't unique, this is happening all over the world with a multitude of games everywhere. So in just five years, esports viewership has overtaken that of traditional sports. And we're just getting started. On average, our industry grows more than 40% each year. Now herein lies this great opportunity. See, all these professionals have to start somewhere. Many of them start in college, in the NCAA, one of the most effective monopolies in the United States. Because teams there draw rabid fans that are interested in their school rivalries and showing their school pride. But despite this incredible growth in professional esports, nothing like this exists at the college level. That is, until now. The Electronic Gaming Federation is the NCAA of electronic sports. So let me tell you exactly what that means. The EGF platform allows collegiate programs to create and manage their esports program to enable their students to compete against other schools. EGF then oversees and organizes all the competitions that those schools compete in. And finally, we broadcast that to the world. So effectively, we combine the best aspects of the NCAA and ESPN, creating a market worth more than $2 billion. Now what I'm talking about is pretty massive. And so in order to really make this work, we started to partner with some of the best people that we know in our industry to handle every aspect of what we need to do. But enough talk, let me show you exactly what a broadcast experience looks like. Let's take another turret down. Like, just go back in the mid lane, go to Gatling Gun, knock turrets down. You have to give up this Baron, it's taken. Team Impulse earned this by playing really freaking well. Or and we're missing it? a punch. Oh, you're kidding me! Oh, got it! Oh my god, and Porpoise Woo! gets out as well! What? Get three turrets and a pair of Cali Trolls dying. Oh. So, oh god, oh no. <laughs> Losing the flow. All right, I know how to use a Mac, I promise. So, that was pretty cool, right? So this is us behind the scenes handling all the production and logistics that make that sort of event possible. So let me introduce you to the team. I've recruited some of the best designers and developers possible to help bring my vision for the future of collegiate esports to life. And behind us is this amazing growing community of gamers that act as content creators and community leaders. Now an amazing team can do truly amazing things, and I'm happy to say that we've done just that. 
In June, we launched what we call the EGF Summer Series. And in just three months, we brought more than 1,200 users onto our platform. And that momentum has continued as we get ready to start our fall series at the end of the month. Now, what's always really exciting and surprising for us is our retention rate. More than 70% of the players that come once come back because of the amazing experience that we offer. But when students get on our platform, they immediately want us on their campus. So I could not be more thrilled to say that today, EGF is at more than 20 schools across the United States. So this is how we make money. We charge colleges to use our platform, players to compete in our competitions, and as our community grows and our audience grows with it, we take money from sponsorships and advertisers. And in just four short years, we expect to see revenues of about $40 million in uh, annual revenues from serving more than 300,000 players, 300 schools, and a few million viewers. Now, the most exciting thing about this is that we get to solve the problems that we deal with every day. So the more data collect, the more data we collect, the more problems we can solve for gamers. Our education and training programs will arm the next generation of esports professionals. And finally, our reach will allow us to address the issues that are closest to our hearts. In this case, mental health and suicide prevention. EGF really can change the world. So if you'd like to find out more about how we plan to dominate collegiate esports and use it for good, feel free to ask me any questions right now or come see me afterwards. Thank you very much.